good. All right, uh, quick show of hands. How many in here, parents or otherwise, have ever heard of a book called What to Expect When You're Expecting? <laughs> OK, great. Just, just about everybody. Uh, I, I'm the proud father of seven kids, uh, my, my wife and I. Uh, and, and it's important to understand the demographics. We've got six daughters and one son. And this story starts back in Colorado. We moved to the area about 17 years ago. And, and at the beginning of the story in Colorado, uh, at that point in time, we had six children. And, and the birth order was we, we'd had a girl, and then that was followed by our only son, Eric. And then we'd had yet another girl, and another girl, and another girl. So we're, we're starting, and typical questions that we would get, typical questions we would get would be, uh, was your, is your son the last one? The assumption is that we, we kept on trying until we got a son. But he was the, he was the second born. Uh, the other questions we would get in Colorado, nobody wondered. They would just assume that we had to have been Mormon. So they would say, <laughs> what ward are you from? So we would have to explain that we were not LDS, that we just loved the idea of a big family. We moved back to Philadelphia. The question was always the assumption, you're Roman Catholic. What parish are you in? <laughs> However, in Colorado, and, and, and along the way, we started to think, yes, it would be great if we could find a brother for Eric. So we, we thought about this, and we, we read a little bit about it, but obviously to no avail. When the last pregnancy began, uh, we had, and by the way, we had never uh, bothered to find out the sex of the baby prior to the birth. So it was a surprise every time. But on this last occasion, we thought it would be great for our son if he might know in advance whether or not, we, did, we didn't want him to be too upset, too surprised. So we, we did decide that we were gonna go down to the local clinic in Colorado. We, we went through the ultrasound experience. And at the, conclusion, at the conclusion of the ultrasound, I and all the other kids that were there, including Eric, were invited into the room with the doctor and the ultrasound technician. And the doctor looked at Eric and said, I've got good news and I've got bad news. <laughs> the good news is you're always going to have your own room. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, who was eight years old at the time, seemed to take that in stride. And then we left the ultrasound room and went back out into this group a clinician's office, maybe 40 people or so in the common waiting room area. And Eric, who had been reading what to expect when you're expecting <laughs> about this high, turns to me and points directly at my crotch and says loud enough for every one of those 40 people to hear, what is wrong with your sperm? <laughs> And that's the downside of curiosity. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll let you go.